Hey everyone, Scott Silknutter. Welcome to the RO Studio. Today we're going to be doing another Caregiving 101 activity. This time is actually a dementia activity and with us is Colleen Knudsen. Hello. Hello. Who, Colleen is a certified dementia care practitioner. Uh, you've been doing this for about 16 years? Correct. You teach people all over the country how to work with their loved ones and engage their loved ones yes. with dementia? Yes. Any type of dementia? Any type. All different levels, right. all different abilities. Fantastic. All right. So this activity you picked from the Caregiving 101 site? I did. And what are we doing? Today we are doing balloon stamp painting. All right. Sounds a little crazy, but it's it fun. It really does sound, but it's also something that a lot of people may already have at home. It's not expensive. You might have the things right in your house. So yeah. I, this is like an $8 activity if you have to go out and get something. Exactly. You need the paint, a couple of balloons, paper, and a styrofoam plate. All right, let's get started. All right, sounds good. Well, we've got one balloon blown up ahead of time. Right. This is a really good size. It's about the size of a grapefruit. All right. Um, a lot of our loved ones are going to have difficulty with something small. This, they can just get their hand right around. And because it's a balloon, they can they can squeeze it and yes. hold on to it. Yep. Fantastic. Okay. Yep. So then what we do is we have your loved one pick their favorite colors. All right. So Scott, you're going to be my loved one. What would your favorite color be? I'm going to have to go with blue this time. All right. That's I'm uh, sensing a pattern. I, there is a pattern. It's uh, blue. <laughs> it's, uh, yes, yes, yes. The, the vest and the, and the shirt. Everything. Yes. It's all blue. And um, then so typically. While, while we're doing this, mm -hmm. um, it, this is uh, dementia activities. People can get overwhelmed, right? It, uh, they think. Very much. Uh, th they think there's something special or unique, but really all this is is um, simple activities that other folks without dementia do. Exactly, and all we're doing is we're structuring them differently so that they're simpler and they're smaller, shorter steps. Okay, so we're meeting our loved one where they are? Exactly. Making it easy for them to be successful. Because we want them to continue to engage in what they love to do. So are you saying that sitting in front of the TV all day is not the answer? <laughs> it's not the answer. Okay. All it's right. not the answer. At, uh, so um, Engagement is key. All right. So. We've taken, got the paint ready. And I know pink's your other favorite color, yes, so is. I yes, got that is. ready for I'm you. I'm a hot pink kind of person. I can tell. Fantastic. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a good color for me. And again, <laughs> depending on your loved one's abilities, they may be able to pour the paint themselves. Okay. If not, you don't want that frustration, you're going to do it for them. So technically, you splooge some paint in there. Technical term. Mm -hmm. So you can put as many colors on. You can. And some, sometimes your loved one is going to be very picky. They're only going to want one color. They're not going to want them to mix. Other people are going to go crazy. Are they going to tell you where to put it on the, on the plate? I hope so. And if they don't tell you, I want you to ask them. Okay. We want to give them as much control and choice as we can. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. So now we've splooged. Now we've splooged. Take a balloon. Take a balloon. Dip it. Dip it. Yep. Some blue. And then maybe, I don't know, are you going to be crazy and wild? Are you going to do a little pink too? Not yet. Okay. But I'm going to go blue first. One thing at a time. And then what? So now you're going to take it, turn around, and it's just like stamping. Fantastic. Exactly. Oh, and do man. you see there how you've got nice big circles? Now I'm going, so I can use the same balloon, get paint all over my hands. Yeah. It's just going to happen. This is going to be a messy activity. Again, you want to make sure that your loved one is going to be comfortable with getting some paint on their hands. If well, not, there's gloves. Well, folks, just grab it because of tactile. This is an awesome, around. doesn't that feel wonderful? It really does. Yes. That, uh, it's kind of squishy. So there's multiple things that you're pursuing here. You can do different size balloons. Let's say that you want your stamps to be a little bit smaller. Okay. I only did little tiny ones like that. So you can really vary it. And if they decide that they don't like stamping and they'd like to do more than that, go ahead and just let them paint with it. There's no wrong way. Up, down, designs. You're going to have a over. beautiful, colorful, abstract painting when you're finished. That they can hang on their wall. Yes. And look back, they can even sign it. It's so something to give to a family member, to give to a friend. Make it for the grandkids? Yes. That's, uh, or do the program with the grandkids. How fun would that be? When they come to visit, right? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, another great activity. Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, guys, if you need more activity uh, ideas, you can visit caregiving101.com. We've got about 1,000 plus activity lesson plans for you to choose from, all varieties, all different tastes and likes and wants. And take care. Uh, we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.